Hey fellas, I'm uh, putting a set of heads together for the Stupor Trooper the, when I swap the engines on it. What I'm doing is taking, uh, I've got a set of twisted wedges that have been ported by Panhandle down in Panama City. My son originally bought these from a guy named Little Dave in Pensacola to use on his Cobra, but you know, th things change. So I kept the heads. Um, what these are, it's just like I said, ported. I think they're in a 185 cc range for the ports on the intake. Uh, what what I wanted to point out was on the uh, chamber, I'd read a thread on Yellow Bullet, and I'll post a link to it in the comments section. But they were talking about how restrictive the uh, chamber is on the twisted wedges. What I did was move this, lay this back a little bit right here, and in this area, kind of got some of that ridge taken out and here in the middle on the stock one there's really significant kind of a bridge across there so what i did was get rid of that to help uh get more flow through it this is a stock uh chamber stock twisted wedge that i ported i had these on the ltd when i had the 302 in it um you can see right here how high that is here and here and then you can see that bridge right there kind of when you at the overlap portion of your cam events what really starts the intake charge going coming in is when the exhaust is going out and it kind of draws the some of the intake charge across and it really helps get velocity and momentum in your intake charge well having that in there kind of inhibits that so you want to knock it down a little bit and it'll, what these chamber mods have done from other guys that have done them these heads usually run about 34, 35 degrees of timing, and after the mods, the same engine, they're running like 29. So you don't need as much timing. The chamber is a lot more efficient. So that with that, you'll make more power. Uh, what else? A couple things to point out for putting heads together. You know, after you get the porting done, you get the valve job done, if you do it, or even the lapping the valves, and you get the you know, if you get any milling done, there's always junk in the valve guides. So get you a gun cleaning kit and a rod. Use a rod with a couple of patches on it. Stick it on the drill. Spray it with WD-40 brake cleaner, whatever you want, and then run it through the run it through the valve guide on a drill and it cleans it out real good. Then just make sure to put oil in there before you put the seal on. And then once you get the valves in, put a little dab of grease on the end where your keepers go and that'll help hold the keepers in place when you got the valve spring compressed so it's it's less frustrating so anyway once I get these on it should make a bunch more power and uh, hopefully get this thing well into the sevens and these heads right here these two after I get done with them they're going to go back on to uh, the other short block that'll find its way into Mustang, but that's a ways down the road. But we'll get there. All right, see ya.